beautiful people. Welcome to Free Movement Dance Solutions. And today we are here in beautiful Studio Graham and we are going to talk about how we are going to do pirouettes. So pirouettes for beginners, I would say I'm going to start like really, really slow. Again, if you have any questions, you can always drop it down in the comments below. But I'm going to go step by step just so that you can actually understand whether you're at home or if you have a dance studio space, try out doing your own pirouettes. Now, this tutorial is going to be for complete beginners. So it will also be good for those who have a little bit of experience or you have danced before and you just want to fine tune your pirouettes a little bit more. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead to start on how to do your pirouettes. All right, first things first. We have got ballet pirouettes and we have got jazz pirouettes. What exactly is the difference? Ballet pirouettes are in turn out, jazz pirouettes are in parallel. So when it comes to jazz or ballet pirouettes, it depends very much on the genre of dance. If you're going to do a ballet pirouette, you will realize that there are a lot of turn outs. Okay, if you're going to do a jazz pirouette, it's a lot in parallel. Okay, so I'm going to show you both and I'm going to go very much in depth into parallel and turn out pirouettes, whether it's jazz or ballet, in our online course. But in today's video, I'm just going to go through very quickly how you can actually do some practices at home and some tips and tricks that will help you with your pirouettes. Now, if you just watch Dance Moms and you're here to actually find out how to actually do your own pirouettes, you're in the right place, okay? So that being said, let us start. All right, my first tip for you when you're about to learn to do your pirouettes is to wear something that's tight-fitting. I know that that's not going to be the most tip that people would give you, but my best tip really would be to wear, for example, a leotard or like tights, like high-waisted pants like this that really helps you to hold your core. That being said, you shouldn't rely on them, but I think having proper dance wear and dance gear to keep everything in really, really helps, okay? For instance, I'm not asking you to size down to a size S if you're a size L. Like right now, after giving birth, I'm right now a size L. Okay, but I'm not going to size down to size S. I'm saying wearing a proper dance wear like a leotard is going to help you to hold everything tight. Okay, so right now as you can see, I'm wearing a vest. This is a tight fitted vest. Okay, but I'm, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to take the vest out so that you can actually see my entire shape. And right now, I'm not in the best form as in a dancer's body. All right, because I just gave birth and I had a baby and the whole body changed. So even if you are not in the tip top, dancer shape, you can still do your pirouettes, okay? So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to take this vest out, okay? Next thing I'm going to tell you is you definitely want to look at your hair. I know a lot of people are able to dance with their hair down and stuff like that, but if you're just starting out on learning how to do pirouettes, okay, I would strongly, strongly suggest that you tie your hair in a tight bun or a tight low ponytail. Because when you're doing your pirouettes, you're going to need to learn how to do sporting. Now, if you're doing sporting and you are not going to have your hair tight and in place, you don't really feel the spot and you're not going to be able to turn well, especially if you're just learning. That is why for a lot of students and for a lot of instructors, okay, you want your students to actually have their hair tied up really, 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 really tightly, okay, so that it doesn't affect them as they dance. So I'm going to quickly tie a really, really tight bun as much as possible using one hair tie. Of course, if you can get more hair ties, I'm going to strongly suggest that as well. But I'm just going to pull everything together really quickly. Okay, good. Look, this is good. If you're shaking and none of the hair comes down, this is exactly what you need to start learning your pyramids. Okay, so I'm wearing a high-waisted pants over here. It's helping me feel a little bit snatched, okay? Let me show you the first tip that I'm going to have for you. Actually, it's not the first tip, it's then going to be the third tip, okay? So the next thing you want to do when you are about to do your pirouettes, okay, is you're going to start to tuck your tailbone in. Now, assuming you're putting your finger here, one single finger, pointing out, imagine you have a tail, okay? This is where you're going to point. Now, you're going to want to hold your core, look at my belly. You're going to want to hold your core, pull it all in, okay, from your lower abs all the way to the top abs, and you want to tuck your tailbone in this way. Do you see that? I'm not moving my finger. It is my tailbone. I'm going to turn, tailbone in, 
and in. Again, tailbone. Hold your core in and in and tailbone in and in. You see this motion? So this helps when you go up on the pirouette, you're not doing this. It's all held up. Okay? So you're going to want to hold everything in as much as you possibly can. Alright? So that's the third tip that I have. Now, so it's going to be the same whether it's a ballet or jazz pirouette, okay? You still got to hold your core, tuck your tailbone in and just pull everything together. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to feel very tall, okay? From here, you're going to bend your knees, put your feet together first. Let's just do it in the jazz parallel first. Okay, what is parallel? Parallel means that your toes are pointing forward, okay? Turnout means that you're squeezing from your hip rotators, tucking your tailbone in, squeezing from your hip rotators and pushing out to your maximum turn out. This would be your first position. This is your turn out. But I'm going to start with the parallel first, okay? We're going to make in parallel first and you're going to bend your knees and you're going to go up on your highest relevé, okay? What is a relevé? Relevé means to go on your tiptoes. Ready? Bend your knees, plié. Plié means your heels are on the floor and you're going to rise up. Watch this. Tuck it in. From here, tuck. Plié. Rise up, relevé. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down. Tuck in. Five, six, seven, eight, down, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. All right, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, down, and up, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down. Okay. Now, if you want to go a little bit more in depth into what a relevé is and how to go into your full relevé, full relevé means to go on your full tiptoes, okay? I'm going to go through all of that in the online class, so go check out that course on itself, by itself, okay? I'm not going to go through that here. Now, going next straight, next thing, okay, into your pirouettes. Now, assuming you've got the hang, you've got the hang of tucking it all in, all right? Tucking your tailbone down and holding your core sucking it through all the way you're going to bend your knees plie what is your maximum plie again for those who have taken my courses okay you're going to plie tuck everything in as you plie your heels look at your heels it's still on the floor so it shouldn't be this way all right down and up this is your maximum plie so as you plie down and then go up on relevé okay down hold down, plie, and you're going to go up. As you go up, what I want you to do is to raise your right foot first. Okay, look at me, going through your demi. Okay, using the floor, going through the demi. I'll show you the side view in a bit. Tracing up your legs, going as high as possible. Okay, minimally as much as you can to your knees. All right, so meaning what I want you to do is to go from plie, tuck first, hang on. Plie and up. You see how I'm tracing everything back to my plie and up. Plie and up. Okay. Side view. Look at my plie. Tuck. Plie and up. Plie and up. Back view. Still right leg. Plie. Oops. Tuck. Plie and up. Plie and up. Okay, we haven't gone on relevé yet. Everything is still flat. Tuck, plié, up, plié, up. Okay, so that is going to be on flat. Now we're going to go up on relevé. Relevé means on your tiptoes. Ready? You can put your hands on your waist. Now again, hands on your waist, four fingers together, thumb out, four fingers front, one thumb to the back. So I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this. Okay? Intention of the hand, again, is holding everything in place. Not here, not here. Okay, this is what I call the breastfeeding position after giving birth. Okay, so make sure you hold everything up. Sternum up. Shooting out your energy, okay? Hands on your waist, tight. So this is still holding on to your torso as tight as possible, okay? Tuck everything in. And now you're going to do plié. 
<laughs> the, the egg. And as you go up, you're going to go on rice and down. And rice and down. Full relevé and down. Full relevé and down. Okay, I'm going to show you the side. Five, six, seven, eight, down. And up, down. And up, and other side, down. And up, down. And up, down. Up. Remember, I'm doing everything on the right, but don't forget about your left leg, okay? Down and up. Trace everything. Okay, now, check it out. <laughs> okay, um, ideally you have already done your warm-up just before you start to do your pirouettes because you want to make sure your entire body is warm. Okay, shall we try to do a desk pirouette now? But before we do that, um, I need to talk about spotting, okay? So you realise what spotting is, is when we turn, we need to look back at the same spot, okay? Spotting, spotting. If I'm spotting there, spot. I'm spotting back at the same spot. If I'm spotting this side, I'm spotting back at the same spot. So, the main thing about pirouettes is you've got to make sure that you're always spotting at the same spot, okay? If I'm spotting wrongly, this is what wrong looks like. Under-spotting. This is what wrong looks like. Over-spotting. Unless the intention is to over-spot, then it's alright. Okay, but if not, stick to your 360 degree spot, which means if I'm spotting here, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna spot the same thing. Spotting. Go check out the course on how to do spots. Okay, because that's gonna be really important as well. Spotting is something you need to practice. Alright, so let's go on. Assuming you've got your spots right. Alright. What now what we're gonna do is we're going to go into preparation. Okay. Just preparation, what we're gonna do is one leg. Um, let's still do our right leg, okay? So you're gonna bend your knees, put your right leg back, down. Remember, look at my body. I'm not leaning forward, I'm not leaning back. Everything maintains a straight line. Down. I am centering myself in between my legs. I'm not going forward, I'm not putting my weight entirely back, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, down. Five, six, seven, eight, down. Notice how my shoulders are pressed down. My arms are strong. It's not here. Strong. Long neck, sternum up. Strong. Long neck, sternum up. Strong. Long neck, sternum up. Strong. Okay. Just keep doing this. Making sure that your back knees, okay, are bent. This is bent. Okay. Both knees are bent. But your back knee is more bad. Alright? 5, 6, 7, 8. Down. Now, question. Why is my right hand coming out forward and my left leg forward? In dance. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Okay? So if you are walking, you usually would walk opposite hand, opposite leg as well. You won't be walking the same hand, same leg. Right? So same thing when it comes to dance. Okay, if my preparation is here, I'm going to have opposite hand, opposite leg. Alright? Five. Put your hands together. Feet in, parallel. Tuck your core. Tailbone in, core in. Push your shoulders down. Sternum up, chin up. Hands to the side. Five, six, seven, eight. Down. From here, I want you to go sharp up and down. Sharp up and down. Woo. Okay, one more time. Tuck, five, six, seven, eight, down. Sharp up and down. Sharp up and down. Five. Five, six, seven, eight, down. Okay, now if you feel a little bit wobbly as you go down, okay, try again to find your center. Now, some people's center is slightly more forward. Some people's centre is slightly more real centre, okay? So for me personally, my centre is slightly more forward. I'm not going to go too much in-depth into it because, again, the thing about being a dancer is you need to understand where your centre is. Ever since I gave birth, my centre has changed a lot. Centre of gravity of a dancer, of your own body, that's something that you need to figure out. Okay, one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, down. And up, down, and up, down, and up. Notice my arm 
down and up, down over leg, down over leg, down over leg, coming down. Okay, now let's try to do one turn, sporting to the front. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, down, up. Okay, notice when I do the turn, okay, I'm going up on relevé, coming down back, two feet in parallel feet in parallel. So what you're doing is you're going to go up, together. From here, up, together. Up, together. In fourth, up, together. Okay? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to open your hand to close again. Okay? Watch. Preparation arm, open, push your shoulders down. Okay, now when you open, it's not opening all the way to the back. It's not even in line with your shoulders, it's always slightly forward. In every dance, whether it's belly, whether it's chest, it's always slightly forward. It's never directly to the side and it's definitely never to the back. Alright, so your arms go here. Preparation arms, here, opening up. Watch my arms don't go here. Slightly forward. Look, it's slightly forward. I'm going to go flat plane. You can see it's slightly forward. And in. It's up to you what you want to do. Left hand front, right hand front. I'm going to leave it up to you. So long as you keep it in. Look at my fingers. They're close flat. Jazz hands. Flat coming in. Flat and 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 in. It's so hot. I'm going to shower after this. It's so hot in Singapore right now. Now, if you do this exercise at home, it's going to be really good for you. Okay? So, same thing. Let's try again for pirouettes. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Down and open, close. And down. Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. Down, open. And from here, your left hand is going to chase to close. And your right hand is just going to come in. One more time. From here, as you go into your preparation, you're going to plie down. This is your preparation. Why? Because you need to have that pushing up motion to give you up. But at the same time, pushing up into the air. Up into the air. So from here in your preparation, as your hands open, this hand on the right stays closed. This is all this hand does. So from here, your hand goes open, close. Okay, just your right hand, open, close. Your left hand just goes out and close, out and close. Five, six, seven, eight, down, open, close. Coming down. Five, six, seven, eight, down, plie, hold your core, hold, tuck your tailbone in, open, close, and down. Five, six, seven, eight, down, open, close. Okay? So again, right? this is a very quick video on how to actually do pirouettes for complete beginners. Again, there are quite a few different elements that need to go into it. Okay, number one, core. Getting used to tucking all of the core in, that's going to be one thing, okay? The other thing would then be the spotting. The other thing would then be the passe, pulling your leg up. So, and the other thing would then be relevé. Relevé means going on tiptoes. And then the other thing would be your arms, the strength of your arms, the quickness of your movement, the control of your body, the isolation of your body. Okay? So parents are not going to be something that you can do overnight. Again, isolating different parts of your body will help you with your pirouettes. Of course, this time around, we are dancing on the Mali dance mat and I am barefooted as well. So that's definitely going to help if you're going to wear dance shoes as well perhaps, like foot songs, ballet shoes, jazz shoes, because there's a, it's a little bit more slippery in that sense, so it's going to help you a little bit more. But I encourage you to practice with a proper dance mat and to be barefooted first, so that you can really feel the floor and feel like how you can turn better before you actually wear shoes that gives you a little bit more... Um, I would say gives you a little bit less resistance so it's going to be easier for you to do your pyramids. Alright, so ideally as you turn in future, you can keep doing your turns. 
all right? But don't forget your left side as well, okay? So right side, left side is always going to help you to make sure that you balance out both sides because you don't want to be just a right-sided dancer or left-sided dancer, all right? So thank you so much for joining me today on this tutorial. I hope you found this video useful. Again, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell below as well. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below or reach out to us anywhere. Email, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, yada yada. All the different platforms we are there. Now, if you want a little bit more in-depth into the different parts, go and join our online course. Click the link in the description down below and you'll find out all of that there. Alright, till next time, see you, take care, stay safe and if you have any dance topics that you want to talk about, let me know.